So this video is going to be discussing mathematics. Oop, mathematics and engineering or just general math. The truth is math is ironically one of the easiest classes that you may ever take. It's just pattern recognition and practice. That's it. Think of addition. 2 plus 2 and 3 plus 4. It's the exact same process. All you're doing is combining two numbers. All they did was change the numbers. That's it. That is all of math. Say, a derivative in calculus. It sounds like an intimidating word, right? Derivative? Well, it's not. Let's say you have 3 to the power of 2. Now, how do you take the derivative of that? Take whatever the power is, multiply it by the number, and then you subtract 1 from the power. So now it's 2 times 3 to the power of 1, or 6. Congratulations, you just learned a bit of calculus. Now, does that mean that you'll be able to do everything perfectly? Depends on how much you practice it. But it's all in the practice and pattern recognition. That's it. I'm telling you, math may be one of the easiest classes you may ever take. Trust me, I know. Because <laughs> I'm no math genius. But don't be intimidated by it. Don't, don't just sit there and say, Oh, I can't do this. I'm not some math genius. Truth be told, neither was I. I mean, I filled algebra with a D, and then went back and got an A in it. How? I, I just had to practice. I just had to be able to see all the patterns. I mean, I somehow got through trigonometry, even though that was a foreign concept. I passed that with a C. Pre-calculus, I never even took a lecture. Passed that with a B. Calculus 1. That was... That was where it started getting hard. But I got past it. I passed that with a B as well. And then there's Calculus 2. Which... Uh, Cal 2... Cal 2 is basically where it starts getting real intense. But don't be intimidated by it. It's pattern recognition and practice. That's it. Pattern recognition, practice. I don't care if you're an idiot in mathematics. You're not. All you need is plenty of practice and to see the patterns and how they match up. I'm telling you, if you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, you can do any level of mathematics. All you need is to set your mind to it. Find out however you study. I mean, myself, I like to listen to electronic music. I don't know why, but I just know it works. So, my message to any future engineering students, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep studying. Keep practicing. That is how you get good at math. You keep doing